Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Okay, a really quick, uh, quick formula idea here that I want to cover. So this, um, what, what, I'm, what we're looking at here is the resource from the relatively new financial reporting course that came out on Enterprise DNA Online. And I just want to do a breakout session of one particular formula idea which I, I put in this particular um, report showcase. And it's this one here. So I want to have a, I want to show you how to calculate a rolling average. So in this case, it's rolling average sale, because what we've got inside this visualization is we've got how many, um, how many sales we're making every day, or what our revenue is per day. And so what I want to do is just see and dynamically see, okay, well, what is our, um, our rolling average through time? And obviously, there's a lot more volatility in the short term, and then it evens out in the long term. Um, and becomes a much more more static line as um, the average has more data to work with over time. Okay, so quite a unique insight, but something that I think um, can hold a lot of value to certain scenarios out there. So I definitely want to um, cover it and show you how it's actually not that difficult. It's, it's honestly not a hugely difficult thing to calculate. Okay, so let's just do a bit of setup here. I'm just going to get my dates up here, and I'll turn that into a um, slicer. And then what I'll also do is I'll um, I'll get this into a table. So you know I'm big on getting things into tables just so you can actually see what is going on um, in your in your um, in your calculations, which is which is really important. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got um, let's just narrow the time down a little bit. So we've got here a all our sales per day, right? And I just want to calculate an average a. a, a a, a rolling average through time which is which automatically updates based on whatever time selection we have okay so let's have a look at what this calculation is doing so what we need to do basically let's just have a look at this table what we need to do is on any day what we need to do is look back on every day prior to that one and including that one and average them out Okay, and then as we move down here for all these other results, we need to actually um, create this time window of every day on that day and and, and less than. So, uh, and then the next one, same thing again. So the, the time window essentially expands for every day we go down the list here <coughs> in our table, okay? So you'll see here that the rolling average on the first day is exactly the same, right? Because that is the average. But then on the second day, it's the average of the first two days. Third day, it's the average of the first three days, etc., etc. So this is how we do it. This is the key part of the formula, right? All this does is it opens up the um, that specific time window that I spoke about. We work through every single date in the current selected context. That's what all selected does. And we work out, is the date less than or equal to the max date? The max date is always the current date as we go down this list. So here it's 11th of the 10th. Here it's 15th of the 10th. And so we work out which days evaluate to true. If they do evaluate to true, then that's going to give us the table, the end table that we're going to iterate through. And that's just that, that time window every single day. And for, for all those days that evaluate to true, we calculate up the sales in all of those days. And then at the end, we go and work out what the average is. Okay. And we do that for every single result in a very in a, in a unique way. So every single result, this exactly the same thing happens. It's just the time window is much larger because we're looking across a larger range of da of dates, basically. Okay. So the great thing about this though is also dynamic because they're all selected, right? They're all selected makes this a totally dynamic calculation. So if I just put this in here, I might have to actually change the colors just to make it stand out a little bit. So you see that? So there's quite a big um, quite a big change obviously from the start and then it sort of evens out and then we can see what our average sort of turns into. Then if we wanted to say move our date range around, similar sort of thing, right? We get our average uh, moves higher and then averages out over time. And so overall you can see that this calculation is not super difficult. It's just understanding that what you can do with, within, with, within an iterating function, first of all, yeah, you know, and you can actually put these these virtual tables, which I love talking about. And then it's just use, instead of using all, it's using all selected. If we used all, we would get a really weird number. So let's just have a look. So I'll just use all, and you'll see now we get these really really odd numbers. And also it um, it is a different um, 
axis as well. I, I think actually what you'll find if we change the axis here, if we change the axis, it will actually, it will actually be the axis. Nope, don't want to do that. Sorry. Um, we start both of these at zero. It will actually be quite a flat line, I would imagine, because you're actually working over much um, yeah there you go so that is way way different because it's working across every single day through time which is totally wrong um, actually that's still there's still not actually the correct um, is it and get them a bit more even so you see so i've just got them a bit more even i probably should actually turn this off show secondary yeah okay sorry that would have solved things a lot easier um but you'll see it's actually more flat there because what's happening is we're not taking into account the date selection we're actually going way back to the beginning of time okay and that's and that's where this all selected all selected is key okay cool so let's just add that back and get um a more uh, interesting result for us cool Okay, so it's the rolling average, um, the, the sort of dynamic rolling average. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this breakout session. I think we'll, we'll, we'll end things there. Um, yeah, lots, of, lots of unique uses for this, I think, that you could, you could use across a wide range of um, scenarios. So hopefully, hopefully you, can, um, you can start using this somehow. Or I just enjoyed learning about the logic behind how it all works. Okay, definitely throw the video a like. Always appreciate that if you can. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Talk to you very soon.